Hello everyone, my name is Brianna Sacchino and I'm an Arts for Learning Miami teaching artist in the field of animation. Today we are going to be learning about and creating our own Thaumatrop. A Thaumatrop is an optical toy comprised of a disc with a picture on each side. It is attached to two strings and when you twirl the strings quickly between your fingers, the two pictures almost appear to be one. This is due to something called the persistence of vision. Today's activity is great for students grades one through five and beyond if you're looking for a little bit of creative fun. This activity will encourage creative thinking skills, originality, and innovative ideas, and will also encourage students to generate work that reflects initiative and personal style. Before we get started, you'll need a piece of cardboard, some paper, any kind is fine, but today I'm using copy paper, some colored pencils, some string, a cup, or anything that might help you create a circle template to cut out, some glue, a pair of scissors, and a hole puncher. The first thing you'll want to do is take whatever's helping you make a circle. In my case, it's a cup, and place it on your piece of cardboard. Using a pencil or a colored pencil, trace the circle onto the piece of cardboard. When you're done tracing your circle, take your pair of scissors and cut the circle out. You may need your parents or guardians to help you out here. When you're done, do the same with your piece of paper. You'll want to cut two circles out. Once you have your paper circles, it's time to get those colored pencils out. You can be as creative with these as you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and draw a fishbowl and a fish. On my first circle, my fishbowl, and on my second circle, my fish.
your drawings don't have to be perfect. So just do whatever your heart desires. It could be as simple or as detailed as you'd like. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and do simple drawings. Fish bowl done. On to my fish. Once again, your drawings do not have to be that detailed or that impressive, <laughs> just as long as you're having fun with it. Color them in. When you're finished drawing, take your first circle and glue it to one side of your cardboard circle. Press it into place, make sure it's perfectly glued on. Next, you'll want to put your other drawing onto the other side of the circle. However, you'll want to place it upside down. This is very important so that your image shows up correctly once you play with it in the end. Again, press it into place. Make sure it's glued on properly. Once both your drawings are glued on, you're going to want to take your string and cut out two pieces of it. Doesn't really matter how long they are. Now take your hole puncher and punch two holes on the sides of your cardboard circle, like so. After your holes have been punched through your cardboard circle, take your string and tie them through the holes.
I like to double knot just for security. Go ahead and do the same for the other side. And when you're done, you're ready to play with your thaumatrope. Hold it by the strings and twist, and you'll see your moving picture. And congratulations! You've made your very own thaumatrope. That's all from me, everyone. Thank you for getting creative with me, and I hope you've had fun learning about thaumatrops and getting to make your very own. Don't forget to ask a parent or guardian to share pictures or videos of your project, and tag at A4L Miami, and use the hashtag A4L at Home on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Until next time!